Hi guys, I'm back with another video today on how to make French toast which is really a very nice recipe which I love so much so if you want to know more just keep on watching. Just a couple of things you need, maple syrup, milk, bread, sugar, butter and egg. this recipe I'm just actually making two breads so I'm just using one egg for this and if of course you want to make a bigger batch then you can just double the ingredients I'm just making this for myself and that's why I'm just using one egg normally if not I'll be doing two so just need to scramble the eggs uh, well until they are fully combined after the eggs are combined you can add in the milk i'm using one tablespoon for one egg here Walking downtown and I'm okay. Eyes on me, I don't know what to do. So Once the egg and the milk are combined, then the next ingredient you can add in the sugar. I'm also using around one tablespoon of sugar. So French toast is actually one of the memory that uh, last memories I have of my mom because she loves to do French toast and I seem to love French toast. I'm not sure why. So uh, she likes to make French toast with uh, sugar in them. Usually outside, if you, I, I mean where I, where I'm from, you can actually buy French toast outside. But normally they don't add sugar in the batter itself. They will add in some kind of sugar, like sweet things on top of the bread. So usually this is how I like to make my French toast and I prefer it this way being sweet instead of you know being like tasteless to me normal French toast just it's like tasteless to me even though you add on the maple syrup and all that so yeah so after that you can just add um, actually using the bowl that's smaller so I can't really dip the bread in so I'm just transferring this to a plate that I can uh, dip the bread later easy for easier um, you know that will be easier for me later I'm not sure why I'm late to this but I recently am loving this um, bread which is from Sunshine called the Hokkaido Milk Toast and it's kind of nice even without any filling or anything like that so I'm actually using this but you can use normal white bread or any bread that you want to Walking downtown and I'm So normally just butter the pan and once the pan is actually buttered then you can dip the bread into the egg batter and then just flip it on both sides and just uh, fry the bread. After the, the bread is cooked on the other side, they just flip it over and cook evenly on both sides. Normally because of adding the sugar, it actually gets darker. So whenever I do French toast, I tend to over toast it. So it gets darker, but for this time, I actually 
am doing it normally so normally I, I tend to go a bit darker so I like the bread to be crispy so because of the sugar it tends to become darker and like looks burnt but it's still fine because of the sugar and all that but other than that this is uh, still okay so you just ensure that you toast the bread according to your preference According to your preference, then you just remove it and let it cool, and then you can plate it. Normally, when I just make French toast, I tend to eat it <laughs> when making it. So once it's ready, I tend to start eating already. So normally, I don't do this, but of course, this doing this was a game changer for me, and adding icing sugar on top. He's got it all figured out. It's what they all say. Yeah. Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living But I don't really care what they all say It's easier said than done That guy, the problems with everyone But it all comes down I'm just adding a bit of maple syrup to add in for a bit extra sweetness. Walking downtown and I'm okay. Eyes on me, I don't know what to do, so I smile and I wave. Everyone's looking like they know what they're doing. Everyone's looking like they know what I'm pursuing. This is like making this was like doing it for a special occasion for me because I normally don't go this far. Normally, tend to start eating already after it's cooked. So I, after that, I'm just adding some strawberries for some extra. <laughs> I got a little too excited and I forgot the butter so I'm just gonna add it right now. I really enjoyed this after making it and I am definitely gonna do this from now onwards. I'm gonna be patient and wait till it's all done before 
I'm gonna eat it so if you really like this do try it and let me know how you feel so uh, see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye guys she likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine she likes notes that say i love you all the time